focus on the family. That's the theme of this year's Pink Dot event. It is a day where Singaporeans from all walks of life come out and celebrate together regardless of their sexual orientation. This year's event encourages acceptance amongst family, but how many are prepared to do that? Why did you decide to come out eventually to your family? And why not before? Um, well, I think it was um, also a matter of circumstances. Sure. So at that time, I just wanted to be truthful to them and I didn't really want to hide anymore because it was really, it was eating away at me. Family support and how has that helped you in coming out in, in embracing your sexuality? It even, you know, among your family? I think, I think actually there wasn't much family support initially but I think over the years um, my family has, we've communicated better okay. after coming out and I think um, we knew where each other was coming from, so there wasn't that barrier, there wasn't that you know, secrecy and it, I think it helped the communication part over the years. Well, I came out to my parents, uh, it was about in 2005. Um, it was basically two weeks before um, I got married. When I visited Toronto, of course she told me she already got married. So I was thinking, what can I do? They already married. So uh, they brought us to the church where the pastor sort of uh, solemnized their marriage. And then I was thinking, well, I hope for the best, right? So I just let things go by. Lah. Would you give any advice to parents who, whose children are coming out to them? What, what would you tell them since you've been through yourself? I, uh, one thing that's still troubling me, <laughs> uh, why uh, things can happen like that to our family, yeah? But other than that, I think uh, parents should support what the children are going through because if they don't, they, they're outside in the world alone, I think they will fall out from the family. That is bad. Eh? So I think they should still stick with the family and we as parents sort of accept them. Lah. What do you want families to take away from today's event? You know, from, from the whole Pink Dot Day today and the whole theme this year? I think I would like um, all families to take away what they, what I think they already know. It's just sometimes we need to be reminded and that is that the only way to move forward really is to love. I mean these are people you know your whole lifetime, you know, and, and you know whether or not they're LGBT or you know they have, you know, other quirks. Or, you know, um, they're still families. I guess it's, it's very hard to lead by example. And, and if this is just one small way I can do, I can, I can do that, you know, to, to just help to bring up my two boys to be just open to, to the world. I mean, it's a big, wide, wonderful world out there. And, you know, I think the whole kind of policy of, of live and let live is something that is so easy to take for granted and you know life is too precious to live in, in an environment of, of ignorance and fear and hate and let's just try you know in a small way to make the world a better place to live in. This is Elaine Ang for the online citizen at Hong Park.